So I want to take you guys in here, up here, into my everyday makeup drawer. This is the makeup I reach for the most on a daily, weekly basis. So I have this split up into different categories. I have primers, foundations, face, powder, eye products, and then back here, lip products, and then some other stuff back here. So I thought this would be kind of a fun video to go through with you guys today. If you're interested, just keep watching. All right, so starting in the primer section, I have the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a replenishing face primer. It's very hydrating. It smells like coconut water. It feels very cooling on the skin. I really, really love this product. A bottle of this lasts me forever, at least a few months, if not longer. I really love this one. So it's definitely a weekly favorite to grab onto. Another holy grail favorite is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is a clear kind of um, pore filling silicone based primer, $7.99 drugstore, amazing. Perfect for smoothing out any texture, filling in your pores and just creating a very smooth consistency, flawless looking skin before your makeup application. And then the third one is a more recent find. This is the Pixi Rose Flash Balm. It's an instant skin booster. It's a moisturizer, it's a primer, it can be a deep moisturizing mask. It's just a really nice product from Pixi. I recently mentioned this in my last drugstore haul. And then over here is where I have all of my foundations that I've been reaching for the most. And the first one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. It definitely is oil controlling. It is long wearing, no photo flashback, and I'm in the shade light beige. It's really nice on the skin, very cooling, and it's very long wearing. I'm really impressed with it. Feels like a BB cream, a moisturizer on the skin, but it wears like a matte foundation, which I think is an awesome, awesome hybrid because you're getting that comfort, but you're also getting that coverage and that wear. So I really love the Too Faced Perfect Peach Comfort Matte Foundation. And then this is definitely an everyday go-to. I'm just gonna go to the grocery store. I just need to pop something on my face, take away some redness, even out my skin tone. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. I love the other foundation from this brand called the Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, which is a true foundation. This is more of just kind of like a tinted moisturizer. I really love it. I'm in the shade 40 Nude, and it has a doe foot applicator, which I really enjoy. Really easy to work with. Just kind of dot it around the face and just blend it into the skin with a brush or a sponge. Great product. I love it. Definitely worth it. Kind of pricey because it is around that $15 price range from the drugstore, but this is going to last me forever. I've been using it so much and it doesn't even look like I've put a dent into it. And then another more recent favorite. I used to love this a long time ago, maybe a year or so ago, and I'm back to it. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. This has SPF of 15 in it. It evens out my skin tone. It gives me the coverage, but it's very lightweight and feel. It doesn't get cakey. It doesn't look heavy. Really love this product. I'm in 25 nude beige. Love that it has a pump. Love that it's drugstore, affordable, easily accessible, and it's just pretty amazing. It blows my mind every time I put this on my skin because it looks so natural. For concealer, you guys know if you read the description box in every video, I'm usually wearing the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I used to wear the one called 15 Fair, which is the lightest kind of ivory shade, but lately I've been wearing 10 Light, which is a little bit more peachy, a little more salmon-y. I feel like this shade still cancels out those dark circles, but it does brighten, but it's not quite as intense as the ivory shade, so it looks less dramatic. It looks a little more natural and I really love the fluidity, the blendability, the creaminess of this very high coverage concealer from the drugstore. It's awesome. Um, and also comparable to the NARS creamy concealer in the stick form, just like this for a fraction of the price. For mascara, my two that I go to, okay, I have a drugstore and a high end. The drugstore is the L'Oreal Paris Luminous Lash Paradise. This is amazing stuff. Very comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Packaging, wand, everything is so Too Faced Better Than Sex, except that this isn't quite as clumpy. It's very easy to take off. I really love this mascara, highly recommend. And then for high end, if you want more dramatic, spidery, long, lengthened, volumized lashes, that look like falsies. The Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics is amazing. I love the wand. It's kind of like a miniature little Christmas tree. It tapers up at the top. The tip gets kind of skinnier and it doesn't clump. It's very easy to apply, very easy to remove. Love this guy for high end. Definitely worth the splurge. Now moving into these face powders, I'm gonna pull this whole tray out of my drawer and kind of just go into it a little bit closer so you guys can get a better look. 
So in this section right here is where I have a lot of my face powders, the things I put on after all this stuff over here. So the first thing would probably be a face powder to set my foundation with. I love the Wet n Wild Press Powder in Warm Light. This is the Photo Focus Powder Foundation. It's amazing. It's like $4.99. Love that guy. For bronzer, I'm always reaching for the matte bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Bronzer. It smells like coconut. It's so beautiful because it has such a great undertone. It's kind of like, almost like a taupey undertone. So it really creates that cast, that shadow to contour with. It's a great contouring powder and it's a little bit pricier than some other products from drugstore. Cause I don't know why, but this brand Physicians Formula is a little bit pricier than say, you know, NYX or ELF or something like that. But I've had this for a really long time and I haven't hit pan yet and I love it. It's a fail proof, no mistakes made contouring powder because you won't get muddy. You can't put too much. It's a buildable product. I love it. And then the Too Faced Shimmery Bronzer in Sweet Tea is one of my absolute favorites for just adding some shimmer and some sheen to the skin, an overall warmth that is not matte. This is what I bronze with and not contour. I think that shimmery bronzers are meant to bronze with, not contour, because that shimmer is what adds that radiance, that glow, that healthiness back to the skin. I love that it's a split pan, very easy to work with, and I like to work with this particular type of product with a stippling brush because it really does feather it out on the skin in a nice airbrushed manner. I love this. For my eyeshadow of the moment, I have been reaching for the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening palette. I mentioned this in my latest drugstore haul video. Great neutrals, beautiful palette for every day. Creamy, 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 $5 so worth it. For highlight, I really love a subtle, more radiant highlight that's great for every day. This one from Laura Mercier is phenomenal. It is so gorgeous on the skin. It just gives like a nice radiant, like you can't even tell. It's not stripey, it's not obvious. It's just a nice, natural, healthy glow. And this one is the highlight number one from her Matte Radiance Baked Powder Collection. I also love the bronzer from this collection as well. These powders are amazing. For blush, I've been reaching for the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. It's a gorgeous, soft baby doll pink. It gives you so much flush, so much color back into the skin. I think a dollar fifty or $2 blush. It's so amazing, the price because the product blows my mind. It's great. It's very high end in quality and blendability. I really love it. I also have the one in Autumn Peach, but recently I've been reaching for this one right now, the pinkier one called Baby Doll. I've also been blown away by this LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in Just Natural, which is a gorgeous pinky nude. I'm so impressed by how much powder you get out of this blush. I have a video reviewing these blushes by themselves in the past on my channel. They're amazing. They're $4.99. They're just mind-blowing how great quality they are. I love this one in Just Natural and I've been reaching for this one for the last couple weeks. I also love to contour with this creamy stick from Jordana. This is the Sculpt & Go Creamy Contour Stick, another $4 product. I use it in two medium. Such a great product, very comparable to the KKW contouring sticks, except that you can purchase this at Walgreens. You don't have to purchase it online, no shipping, and it's four bucks, so I really love this does a great job of creating a nice contour, very easy to blend out. I'm just so impressed by this. I'm surprised this is only $4. And then for highlight, I've been reaching for this tiny little sample of the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I do have the full size, but I thought I'd kind of play with this one first because I didn't want to open the full size yet. And I love it. It's a really nice, radiant, very intense highlight, but you can blend it out as well. And it's from the Balm and the packaging is so cute. This is just a mini sample though from Ipsy. So we're done with that section. So pulling you guys into these two sections, these are the lip products I've been reaching for the most recently. So that's their section. And this is the section for new products, stuff that I want to test out for my channel, stuff I just want to test out and play with, new things. And that's what goes in here. So let's start with the lips. The first favorite is the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lip in Evening Rose. I was recently wearing this in my drugstore haul video that I posted last week. Love it. It's a nice deep rose, but it still looks natural. It's not too dark. It's not too vamp or anything like that. It's just noticeable, but in a pretty everyday kind of way. I also love the ColourPop Time Sarai Ultra Satin Lip in 951. It's a perfect nude. I was wearing this in a previous ColourPop video when I reviewed it in a haul or something like that. Really love 951. It's a gorgeous kind of beigey nude. And then when I don't want to wear lipstick, but I want something on my lips, some kind of shine or gloss, I reach for the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Aquarius. It's a perfectly dusty pink. I love this one. And then when I want something kind of hydrating on the lip, I reach for the Hydra Silk Flower Beauty in Naked Petal. 
It's just a beautiful, creamy, nude, kind of pencil-y lip product. Love it. I think I have a review on this as well on my channel sometime a few months ago. And then over here is all the stuff that I need to play with still in review for you guys. So I have a palette from Winky Luxe. This is their kitten palette. I received this from a BoxyCharm. Gorgeous, cooler tone shadows. I definitely can't wait to play with this. I just haven't had the chance yet. So it's in this corner for me to be reminded to play with it. I also have a, another palette from BoxyCharm. This is the Naked Cosmetics highlighter palette, face highlighter palette. It looks like unicorn shades. It reminds me of Lisa Frank, such pretty colors. I don't know that I would reach for colors like blue or green for my skin, but they may play well for shadows or things like that. So I still need to kind of play with it, swatch it and figure it out. So that's in my little testing corner as well. Finally was able to get my hands on the other three palettes from Wet n Wild. I got the Rosé in the air, which has a lot of bright kind of um, berry shades. Some people were even saying that this is a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which I also own, so I definitely have to play with this and check it out and find out for myself. I got the Comfort Zone, which is just a reformulation of the one I already have, but they do have those two larger panned transitioning shades, which were not in the previous palette, so I'm really excited to check that out. And then the last one I got, which was the hardest one to find, was the Not A Basic Peach. Bright pops of color, so perfect for spring and summer. Really excited about this orange and this bright turquoise blue. So I'm really happy I was able to get my hands on this one as well. And then I got a few of the quads. They were all available at CVS, but I didn't want to get all of them. So I just picked up two. I got the Hooked on Vinyl, which has this beautiful peacock blue in it, which makes me think a lot of a MAC shade that I don't have and lots of bronzy kind of peach shades. And this one in Silent Treatment has a lot of pretty purples and taupes. So I wanted to give these two a whirl as well. And then I have this Cover FX Shimmer Veil Cream Shadow in Amethyst, which is a really pretty kind of purpley lilac-y pink. It's a cream shadow, kind of like the Stila ones. It has a doe foot applicator. So I definitely want to try this one and see how well it works. I got this lipstick in my Ipsy bag last month and I want to test it out. It has such cute packaging. It's from Clinique. It's in the shade 13 Love Pop. Looks kind of metallic-y, almost frosted-like. So I have to see if I would even wear this kind of lipstick. I tend to go for mattes or creams, but I'll definitely give it a whirl. And if I don't like it, it may hang on to it simply because the packaging is so darn cute. It needs to be somewhere in my beauty room. And then the last lip product I want to test out is from Mellow. This is the shade Posh and it's a matte nude lipstick. It looks gorgeous and I love matte lips. I tend to gravitate towards mattes and I especially love nudes like this. Deepen nudes, not your typical pink nude. So I definitely want to try this one out as well from Mellow. In case you're wondering, this little tray is from Ikea. I got it in the kitchenware department. It's actually, I guess, to put your utensils in it. And the best part is, is that this tray fits perfectly into the Ikea Alex drawers. Helps me to stay a little bit organized. Let me know if you like this video, if you want to see more what's in my drawer, what's in my everyday makeup. Hopefully I can film something else like this for you guys soon. Give it a thumbs up. I love you. I will see you next week with my February favorites. Bye guys.